Well, it's time for a, a Paul leg update report, and he's going to pull up that pant leg to show you how much easier it slides up today. That's, and then, and I'm going to lift this up a bit, and and you can see that, you know, I mean that's dried up. That thing's drying up and crusting over, and. And the swelling in the back is not nearly as pronounced, obviously. And, and it's uh, not as solid. And yeah, it's not nearly as solid. It's not nearly as stiff. I mean, well, it's more squishy than it was yesterday. So, If I lay my foot on your leg, it, yeah. I'm take. <sighs> yeah, it's, it actually has a bit of... I untighten my muscles. It has, a bit, of it has <laughs> a bit of compliance now where it really didn't yesterday. And... Uh, and then here, of course, this is what it's supposed to look that's, like. That's the normal leg. So <laughs> it seems that, uh, uh, and he he got the definitive results or the, the uh, from uh, this ultrasound. Basically, just said they you know he had a lymph node in his groin. Well, of course, he's going to have a lymph node in his groin if he's got an infection in his lower leg. So, but no blood clots. Yeah, no, no, no throat, no, no, uh, no uh, venous. Of thrombosis, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. they were afraid that I'd have, oh, yeah. I had blood clots. Oh, well, sure, I mean, that's, yeah, that's exactly uh, what you always uh, worry about. So, uh, things are progressing apace here, it, you know, healing seems to be underway, and he's, notice he's got his low-cut shoes on today, and, uh, yeah, I changed yeah. shoes at the end. Yeah. So he wore his boots and then he changed to the low cut shoes. And, I got tired uh, of walking on his hard floors and wearing his hard soled boots. Yeah, right. Well, I don't blame but you. They put these soft soled things on. Well, they prefer you to wear the lower cut shoes anyway, don't they? Yeah, yeah. it's the safety new skid. Well, oh, it is? is. Do they actually? Is this some sort of safety shoe? Well, it's not what they assigned the bot for, it's because those things are... You got a hole in the bottom of this, or is that designed that way? That that cavity in the bottom? At the heel? Yeah. That's the way they're designed. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought maybe a weasel would come in and eat your shoe or something. No, because you have an upgraded <laughs> thing shaped the same way up on the inside. Like oh. the rest of your your heel on. Were these shoes designed by German engineers? Were people overthinking the problem? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, don't mind me. Don't I'm mind. trying to remember who they're from. Don't mind, don't mind me. Just don't mind me. Well, we know where they're from. They're from China. They're all that crap's from China. So, alrighty. Now, Paul, God bless him, brought brought home some stuff from the hotel. You found in a you actually found that in a in a in a refrigerator left over in a refrigerator yeah, in a, in a, it was a move out in a room, yeah. And the people moving yeah, in wanted yeah. no feather pillows. Yeah. But I I always checked the fridge. I guess they didn't I guess they didn't want hard salami either. Now it's noticed it's interesting it says here, well there's that. That's the back side, but the front side is interesting. It says uh well it doesn't say anything on that one. Oh, it says, uh, it says resealable package, resealable package, and as I, I pointed out to Paul, it would be very unlikely that that feature is going to be used tonight. <laughs> and now we have, and now, well, this is, we have, you know, the pepperoni, which of course is going to be wonderful, and uh, we have here this thing, it's called... This is high. Premium this, ham. Yeah, premium. I love it. I love the premium black forest ham. You know, now now check out check out the selling points on the package. Water added, coated with caramel color. Oh wow, I that makes me just want to go move over and pick that thing off the shelf immediately. You know, I want I want to eat something that's coated with caramel color. Well, as you might imagine, we are we are going we are going to eat we are going to eat, going to eat nonetheless. <laughs> well, <clears throat> as predicted here on uh, Friday the thirteenth, March, uh, you know, two thousand fifteen, uh, the rain has started. 
Now, uh, 20, let's see, 1991, 20, 24 years ago, <laughs> this afternoon, right about this time, as a matter of fact, you know, 1700 in the afternoon, although they hadn't gone to the idiotic, really early daylight savings time at that point. I, that's, that's what I said, AMF to Grand Hospital. Now, you know, the first word of that is adios, and I imagine you all can figure out what MF means. Foreign military. Oh, going backwards. Oh, no. Going backwards like Hebrew or Arabic. Be, um, oh, okay. Marshall. It's like. It's like we're selling. It's like it's like we're marketing roadblocks. Forget it. I was thinking something. Else. It's just. It's just. It's. It's like spike sticks. It's like the stuff the cops throw in the road to stop cars. Uh, so uh, nothing. Nothing much here today. Uh, you know, water's in the basement. Uh, no. No nefarious ones. No nefarious people were roaming about today. And. Uh, uh, Paul got hope safe, so that's pretty much it. I, I've been watching uh, 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 About a Boy, this movie with uh, uh, Hugh Grant and Nicholas Holt. Um, well, everybody knows about Hugh Grant, but uh, Nicholas Holt was the fellow that went on to star in uh, the BBC drama uh, over two seasons of Skins, um, which I highly recommend you look at if you, you know, can find it. Uh, it's out there on DVD, and you can get that from TLA, but uh, uh, it's, it's very worthwhile to, to watch that, uh, but... Uh, so I, I've, I've been watching it, and I was I downloaded it, so I you know I can go back to it. So. <laughs> that's the Tony character. Yeah, that's that's the Tony character. Nick Lucas Holt was got played Tony in Skins. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So bye bye, YouTubers.